Hi, my name is Jesse. My trail name is Running Bear. For a number of years, I've been section hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. I've hiked the West Coast Trail numerous times and Juan de Fuca, too many to count. And I live here on Vancouver Island in British Columbia. And there are numerous small trails that uh, are accessible to a lot of people, but there's not a lot of information on YouTube in regards to these trails. I've been connected to the outdoor environment for many years. As a young man, I built hiking trails and I uh, groomed trails. I taught canoeing, guided canoe trips, got into education later on. I also worked for BC Parks in the interior of British Columbia as a park naturalist. My connection to the outdoors has been varied and uh, something I really enjoy. I wanted to share that with you, and getting out in the outdoors isn't always about the big trips, hiking the Pacific Crest Trail, Continental Divide, or the Appalachian Trail, or here in Canada, the Great Trail. It often means simply getting out for an hour walk or a two-hour hike. And there are so many opportunities in our own neighborhoods, and Vancouver Island is a perfect example of that. So I hope you enjoy these videos. I'm going to try to add something unique and special to each one. And if you would click on the like button down below or subscribe to this channel, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll continue doing more content. Thank you. Matheson Lake Park was established in 1994. It's 156 hectares and hikers can enjoy the loop trail around the lake or explore the Galloping Goose Regional Trail, which leads to adjacent Roche Cove Regional Park. There are approximately five short trails that you can access to make your hike a nice morning adventure. You can see that the parking area is quite large, but it can fill up pretty quickly. It takes approximately 35 minutes to drive from Victoria. To get there, you follow the Trans-Canada Highway from Victoria and take the Colwood exit. Follow the old island highway which turns into Souk Road. From Souk Road, you make a left on Happy Valley Road, then a right on Rocky Point Road, and right again on Matheson Lake Park Road, which leads to the park entrance. This lichen is called Alectoria sarmentosa, or you may know it as Witch's Hair. You can see it throughout the trails in Matheson Park. Aside from providing food for deer and squirrels, it had a variety of uses in the past. It was used for making baby diapers and bandages. It was used in First Nations masks, and it was woven into ponchos and footwear. According to some sources, it was also used as a food source, and it has a bitter taste. It would be steamed for 48 hours with onions for flavoring, ground into a flour, and added to other foods as a supplemental flour. Please don't eat it. I don't want to be responsible for anyone getting sick. It's a great shot of showing just how lush the West Coast is. It has a beauty all of its own. After the bridge, you can take a right turn here and go around the lake, Matheson Lake, and back to the parking lot 
make a loop around the lake. This is the trail there heading up that way. Or you can choose to continue on straight and follow this little creek. And it's, to me, one of the prettiest spots on the trail. Not all of this trail is muddy and hilly or stumps or stones. Parts of it are really cleaned up and well-maintained and uh, easy for anybody to hike. I'd say the, the whole trail is pretty easy because you're not climbing a lot of elevation. There's some up and downs, but it's not too difficult at all. Right now it is muddy, but typically if you've had even two or three days of no rain, a lot of the surface water absorbs in and it's really not as bad. It's only when you're hiking in the rain or the day after a rain where it really gets quite mucky in spots. Best way to avoid that mud is to wear gaiters. You can take a right on the galloping boots and you can see it's almost like a little road. Head back to the parking lot in Matheson Lake. There usually are a lot of people on this trail biking and walking. And uh, a nice alternative is to continue on and head across the road as you come out of that trail that we were just on. There's a bench right there to help you with a marker if you want. And you head up that trail. And it takes you up to a little area where you're circumnavigating a hill. And then you turn right and you follow that trail which runs parallel to the Galloping Goose heading back to Matheson Lake. It is a nice little loop all together. It takes, it's about eight kilometers and it's uh, not as popular, so less crowded and in itself quite a pretty walk. If you choose to follow the inland trail, there's a couple of places where you can get off of it and go back onto the Galloping Goose. The first exit puts you on the Galloping Goose and then you walk about a kilometer or so. And on the Galloping Goose itself, there is a right hand turn that you can take to go back onto Matheson Lake. I'm going to take this trail right now and we'll show you some of the terrain there and we'll, we'll stop for a little break. One of the reasons that you might want to stop and have a coffee, have lunch, is because it slows everything down. There's a lot of reasons to be out here, and some of them might be around getting physically fit. Other reasons might be just to get out in the outdoors. When you stop and sit down and make yourself a coffee and have something to eat, it slows everything down and you start to notice things that maybe you wouldn't have noticed before. So for instance, that Douglas fir tree, you can see there's burn marks on the side of it. Is it from an old forest fire? <clears throat> maybe a careless hiker or camper? A lightning strike. But you wouldn't notice things like that if you're just passing through. So stopping, 
taking a break gives you that opportunity to just connect a little bit more with the environment that you're in. I really enjoyed making this video. I plan on making many more. If you have a favorite spot you like to go to, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can make a video of it as well. If you like this content, please click the like button and please subscribe. See you out on the trails.